Hi. Doing the top 10 movies tag, my top 10 favorite movies. And this wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, but it was still pretty tricky because there was some I wanted to put in, but I was like, I haven't, like, I only put ones I've seen multiple times. Some I've only seen, like, twice. So I'm like, no. But, so. Yeah. Uh, number 10 is Up. This is my favorite Pixar film. Um, ever. Yeah. Another one I'm not, I like, but this one has like touched my heart. Ellie and Carl, and then Carl and Papa. <laughs> That's all. And I love Doug. He's like the cutest animated thing, creature, animal ever made. He was just so cute. Um, yeah. Next, number nine, is Grease. This is my favorite musical of all time. Um, this is one where I feel like I see a clip of it, or I see a picture from it, or someone mentions it. Like, I want to watch it. I want to watch it right now because I'm talking about it. Just one of those. It's just like, I need to watch this movie. Um, whenever it's like, even mentioned, basically. I'm like, oh my god, watch. Okay. Number eight is On Golden Pond with Henny Fonda and Captain Hepburn. This is Henny Fonda's last movie and it's beautiful and Catherine and Henry had never met before. They did this but their chemistry is like they had been together for years. It's just so natural and real and it's funny and sad and just so good. It's very good. Um, number Seven is Casablanca. This is like the f classic film that really got me into classic movies. So, yeah, it's a good movie. It is. Um, okay, number six is The General with Buster Keaton. This got me in a silent film. This is the first silent film that I watched, and Buster Keaton is my everything. I love him. <laughs> So, yeah, it's just, it's so funny, and he's brilliant, and, yeah. Okay, number five is, um, My Fair Lady, my favorite watching film. Used to be Charade, and I still love Charade. I think it's pretty, I'm actually a second favorite, but My Fair Lady kind of etched it the way up there because this is the movie that I always want to watch. When I, uh, I'm doing a watch through of all of Audrey's films, because I have them all now, and only the ones that are like, obviously you can buy in America or have been released. And there are some where she has cameos, but I'm just like focusing on her movies, or ones where she's the lead. Yeah, my Fair Lady is just like, ugh. I do a lot of Audrey rewatches around her birthday and I always start, want to start with My Fair Lady, it's so good. Um, okay. <laughs> Number four is Wizard of Oz. I don't think I have much, I don't think I have to mention why, it's just makes me so happy. It's just like, I watched this recently because I wasn't filming well and it just made me so happy. It's just colorful and fun and love the singing and the music and the demeanor dancing. Just so good. So good. Um, I highly struggled though because I wanted to do Star is Born, but Wizard of Oz, obviously, <laughs> I had to pick that one over that. Of over the I was born because it means more to me, but it was still number three is Harold and Maud. This one is not for everyone. I don't think there's a movie out there that is for everyone. I mean, everyone is different, but um, Harold and Maud is just a very unique story, um, unique love story, and Ruth Gordon was beautiful and wonderful, and they wish she was still alive. <laughs> Because, wow, she was just awesome. Um, yeah, I've watched this so much. It's like, just we watched it a couple, like, last week. 
used to watch it honestly like once every week and I got it on DVD. So obsessed. Um, number two is Little Woman. This is so sweet. <laughs> I haven't seen the original movies. There's like two other ones. I think there's actually like there's another one, and then you know, just we did, and then there's another one, and then they were doing doing another one. There's so many adaptations like that I haven't watched, but this one, I bought my mom a long, long time ago for Christmas or her birthday, and I think it was her birthday. I don't know. And she watched it. She didn't let me watch it, and I was like, oh, no. But then I watched it, and I'm obsessed now. Okay. And then my favorite movie, if you've been watching for a while, is The Outsiders. This is just my favorite movie. Um, watched it, I think, in fifth grade. Fifth or sixth, yeah, fifth or sixth grade. My brother introduced it to me, and I fell in love. And then the original DVD came out, and I got that one. And then the extended version came out, and obviously I got this, and it's so much better than uh, the original release. And I love it. By the way, this picture is candid, and I love this picture so much. It's just like candid moment. Um, we were laughing, and the photographer caught it. So, yeah. Um, but I just love it. I love it. So that is all. I guess I'm supposed to tag people, but I don't. I want to do it. He can't. So that is all. Goodbye.